Hello, hey, gentlemen. Hello. <laughs> it's How's great it to be here. It's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course. Thank you for being on the show. I have to say, I have to admit, um, full transparency and disclosure, I am fangirling a little bit right now. Um, <laughs> you are probably one of my favorite people to to have interacted with, to follow on various social medias and LinkedIn. So I'm like, I'm, I'm starting to get those fangirl butterflies. Uh, I'm, so humbled. I'm humbled. I'm honored to have you on the show. <laughs> that is awesome. I know Peter. Uh, Yermi has gotten to know Peter. And you guys are about to get to know Peter, but we're going to do the official bio, the official introduction, because it's pretty cool. And then we're going to get into the, the Peter version. So known as the unlearning coach, um, Peter Hostra Hostrauser has been a business educator in the Chicago area for over 20 years, founding the OPRF School of Business at Oak Park and River Forest High School in Oak Park, Illinois. He's an entrepreneur and change agent, agent for traditional educational systems, as well as a business coach. Peter has helped hundreds of young entrepreneurs start and continue their paths to success. Peter is the host of the Disrupt Education podcast, one of my all-time favorite podcasts to listen to, which is number eight on the best 50 educational podcasts in 2022. I have to say, um, I, I'm, I am a little biased, also because I was very fortunate to be a guest on Peter's podcast of probably about a year or so ago. Mm -hmm. um, and on that podcast, he talks with creative and non-traditional learners, and they share their stories and thoughts on how to change education. He currently teaches business at Amos Alonzo Stag High School in Palos Hills, Illinois, USA. I said Illinois. Yeah. I'm butchering the names. Nah. Um, <laughs> and is an advisor for the pre-professional portfolio and networking startup Spike You. His value is to help others find and show their value. Uh, really awesome bio there and it's scrolling on the bottom so i encourage everybody to read that because i completely butchered the pronunciation of <laughs> most of those words you did fine you did um, fine but again it's just really awesome to to have you here and i want to start off by having you share with us and with our audience more about who you are um in your own words what you do and kind of where you started from and how you got to where you are nowadays Okay, well, this show is going to go all the way into tomorrow. If we, no, um, <laughs> no, I appreciate that. Wow, um, that's and, generous. Yeah, yeah, not bad coming off of three weeks of Passover. Right. You guys are doing well. Don't worry about it, you're, you're awesome. good. <laughs> you. um, I've actually said Illinois myself a couple of times. <laughs> and you live just, there. Yeah, I do. I do. I grew up in Indiana, though. That's, that's my excuse. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you know, um, wow, 20 years in education, um, and I... I want to change it every day. Um, and, but, but I love questioning things. Um, it's not always welcomed in systems, uh, especially public school systems. Um, we've had that conversation before. Um, but I, I guess like where I started, I grew up in a family where my, my father was a coach. Uh, I went to a small high school, rural high school in Indiana. Um, and uh, my father always told me, uh, don't get into education because of the politics. Well, you know, me being who I am, the middle child, I had to, you know, <laughs> get into school and then get smacked by the politics. But um, <laughs> if, if you go back into my own like kind of learning journey, I didn't I had no intentions of being an educator. I, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. Uh, bounced around, got a degree in uh, broadcast journalism uh, in communications at Valparaiso uh, University in Northwest Indiana and, you know, just kind of bounced around. I, I worked different jobs and, and had a lot of fun. Um, but you know, there's no real traction and I never really knew my skills until, um, I started to work a little bit with, um, finally got into, um, the video production where, you know, after three years after a degree, I finally got into it. And, um, you know, I just started learning about, you know, speaking to people and, and we created our own business, me and my uh, uh, previous college uh, roommate. Um, and I was like, wait, I, I really like this business stuff. Um, it was hard. It was fun. Um, we wasted a lot of time and money and made a lot of failures, but um, it was it was fantastic. And I was like, I wish I would have known this before uh, in schools. Um, 
And then I got an opportunity. Um, my girlfriend, who's my wife at the time, uh, now um, that sounded backwards. There, <laughs> my girlfriend at the time, who is now my wife. Take a step um, back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I go the other way. I'm in trouble. Um, uh, there was an opportunity at her elementary school to teach these youth about um, video production. They did video production for their um, their morning announcements, and it was VHS. So I'm dating myself here a little bit, but the kids learned how to actually edit. They had to do some math. They had to script. Yeah. They had to do some things. And some of the kids were great academic kids, and some were not so great. Um, and they all started to kind of they improve. They improved their math skills, their their writing skills, and that was the key. I was like, I need to get back into education. And from that point on, it's been all about business education. So wow. uh, that's the very brief uh, run in. But yeah, it's been twenty years, and it's been an experience, and I and I love every minute of it. 